ankle arthroscopy. This is a basic tray setup for an ankle arthroscopy with an obturator, shaver, cannula, and arthroscopy scope. I typically use a three portal technique with an anterior medial, anterior central, and an anterior lateral portal. Here the portals are being marked. The anterior central portal is not always used, but uh, I prefer it for arthroscopy placement. It's placed directly over the extensor tendons. The anterior medial portal and anterior central portal are made with a small 15 blade stab incision, being careful not to go too deep with the uh, incision. The ankle joint is then distended from the anterior medial portal with 20 cc's of lactated ringers. You should see the ankle joint dorsiflex and you should only inject to their, a firm resistance. You do not want to blow out the lateral aspect of the ankle joint capsule. Blunt dissection is utilized to reach the ankle joint capsule with a hemostat for both portals. A blunt tipped obturator is then placed in through the central portal. I utilize a 4.0 uh, scope. Uh, twisting type motion is utilized until you fill the articular surfaces. With the obturator being, being blunt, you will protect the articular surfaces and not damage them. I tend to direct the cannula slightly medially, anterior medially. Uh, this is the scope now going into the cannula after the obturator has been removed. The ingress and egress port, uh, the ingress is then established. Um, as you can see, the, the line is being primed and now being attached to the uh, connection on the obturator. The light source is then attached to the scope. and with the uh, fiber optic cable in place. Here you can see the, arth the arthroscope being uh, held against a gauze pad to white out to get the proper whiteness level of the arthroscopy. It's now reinserted back into the cannula. The joint is isolated. Proper flow of ingress is important to distend the ankle joint and allow visualization of the joint. Once the obturator or once the arthroscope is well established within the joint, an egress portal is established. This is the arthroscopic equipment. You can see centralizing the scope and the uh, central aspect of the joint with the ta uh, tibia in the uh, upward position and talus in the downward position. Here we have a good view of the ankle joint itself. An egress portal will be established through the anterior medial side with a small blunt obturator and cannula. Uh, typically, I will start my debridement of the joint through the anterior medial portal uh, with a 3.5 full radius shaver. I tend to make my lateral portal, my anterior lateral portal, and their um, trans illumination utilizing the scope. Uh, and palpation of the anterior lateral shoulder of the talus to make my portal. Here's a 3.5 full radius shaver attached, attached to suction uh, being utilized to uh, start debriding the joint. Triangulation is utilized to uh, find the shaver. The shaver is brought to the scope under direct visualization uh, while watching the uh, assist the camera setup and here you can see the shaver it is very important to uh, shave only when you can visualize the shaver it's, um, do not shave the soft tissue if you cannot see the shaver and you want to try to shave away from the articular surfaces you can either use a pawing or dabbing type motion or a sweeping type motion um, those are common terminologies used for types of uh, debris with a shaver see the uh, 
synovitis within this joint being debrided. It's important to be able to utilize both right and left hands when doing arthroscopy. Uh, I typically do not use a distractor. Um, the foot is just off the end of the bed. I do use my uh, stomach or um, area of my stomach to dorsiflex the ankle on and off to allow for uh, pouching of the ankle joint to make debridement easier. If I'm trying to get be, uh, into the uh, tibio-talar joint more posteriorly, I will plantar flex the ankle to allow the ankle to open up anteriorly. You can see the shaving, uh, sweeping type motion I'm doing with the shaver. It's important to hold the camera steady um, and move with the shaver. And also notice how I'm holding the camera in arthroscopy with the uh, video cord uh, and ingress in a uh, gun type uh, grip. The light source is coming off the top of the uh, scope. And that cord is not as important in orientation. It's important with the orientation of the light source that you see the talus um, on the bottom and the tibia on the top. Again, here's a shaver utilizing the debridement of the medial aspect of the angle joint. You can see the medial malleolus and the medial shoulder of the talus as the uh, shaver is sweeping through the soft tissue. Uh, debriding the synovium in this area. Always trying to shave away from the cartilage to protect the articular surface. And here we're bringing the shaver across the central aspect of the joint. Always keeping our camera in a uh, oriented position so we can know our exact location within the joint. It's also important that you are careful when shaving not to hit the camera lens with the uh, shaver as it will scratch it. Here I am utilizing transillumination to isolate my anterior lateral portal. Um, I'm palpating this area under direct visualization. Um, I can see this uh, indention arthroscopically. I'm going to make a small stab incision over this area and bluntly dissect into the joint and then utilize a blunt tipped obturator um, to um, enter the joint and then shave the lateral portion of the joint under arthroscopic visualization. This is a uh, grasper that was placed within the joint for visualization. Through the anterior lateral portal in the snow room in this area. Now here's a shaver reestablished into this area shaving over the uh, anterior lateral aspect of the ankle, uh, showing the uh, lateral tailor shoulder, and the fibula is visible uh, behind the soft tissue. There's the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament coming down from the uh, tibia into the fibula. And then the anterior talofibular ligament will extend from the bottom of the anterior tib fib ligament coming directly towards you, inserting into the talus. As uh, the soft tissue in this area is debrided, it becomes more visible. And you can see the lateral gutter of the talus. There's the fibula visible um, behind the talus. And there's the ATFL, anterior talofibrial ligament, present, coming off the anterior inferior tibial fibrial ligament. This has been an uh, arthroscopy video by Patrick A. Deher, DPM. Thank you.